Hey guys, Imran here. Today I will be showing you an alternative way of running apps that require Google Mobile services on your Huawei device through an app called VMOS. In fact, this works for any Android device as long as it has at least 3GB of RAM and 4GB of free space. VMOS is essentially a virtual machine app that lets you independently run an Android operating system within your own device with Google Mobile services pre-installed. For the non-techies, what this basically means is that you will have an emulated Android environment running separately to your Huawei EMUI operating system. So, any apps installed here are self-contained within their environment. To be clear, out of the box, VMOS does come with Google Play Store pre-installed, but I would not recommend relying on it too often for reasons which I will explain later in the video. Some technical limitations to this approach is that since apps are emulated, they will not be running at the native or full speed. Videos will also be in lower res and frame rates. Battery drain is also another factor as running virtual machines generally tend to require more processing power. Apart from that, it is still good enough to get the job done for most simple app use cases. So, who is this exactly for? If you don't fancy going through the troubles of site loading GMS or simply having issues doing so, but still want to run apps that either require GMS to work or require a Google login, this is probably your next best alternative. In order to get started, you will need to download two APKs, the VMOS app itself and a VMOS Unlocker app. Links to the download are included in the description box below. So go ahead and install the two APKs. So this is how the virtualized environment will look like. It's your typical Android user interface where you can access the notification drawer, the app drawer, and also even your settings. However, the key difference here is that you are running basically an emulated operating system within the VMOS app itself, which is entirely separate from your phone operating system. As it runs as an independent app, you can either let it run in the background or kill it once you are done using the apps, although I would not recommend doing the former due to the potential battery drain. It can also run in pop-up mode as well if you desire. By now, you might have noticed the Google Play Store app over here. Yes, it does work, but only from time to time. My experience with it so far has it has been a bit of a hit and miss. At times, downloading of apps works fine, but at other times, the downloads will simply be stuck at waiting for download screen, which is why for this reason, I would not recommend relying on it too much to install your apps. Unfortunately, I haven't found a fix for this yet, but I will be sure to share it here when I do. Instead, my suggestion would be to install a third-party APK installer such as APK Pure to sideload your apps, which I will also show a bit later. For now, let's pro first proceed with setting up your Google account. So here is how you install APK Pure. You can open the pre-installed browser over here. And search for APK Pure.
this video has been useful for you especially if you've been having trouble sideloading GMS onto your Huawei devices. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer. If you enjoyed this one, do leave a like and subscribe as I will be having more content lineup soon. Thank you and see you in the next one.